Somebody call a doctor because Bad Medicine is back. I'm the Appleton Oak, and today I'm going to be diving into part 12 of Hogwarts Legacy, my usual catch-up that I do in the beginning of the videos. We're going to get things started, and I'll get into all that as I get rolling here. I'm playing it uh, now for the dozenth time, I guess, so let's go! All right. Okay, here we go. So, uh, a lot to take away from the last gameplay. Oh, I'm back here Hello, with friend. my guy. Oh. I wonder if you might stop by the three broomsticks when you can. I'd like your help with something. Oh, of course. Hello, Mr. Moon. Oh, greetings! Uh, any luck removing some more of those Demiguy statues? Um... God, I, I don't even remember from the last time. Do I have any more? Yes. I actually have some moons for you. <clears throat> oh, thank you. <laughs> the fewer of these statues I see, the better. <laughs> uh, you keep your eye out for others, and I'll teach you more about Alahamora. Where can we find more? Where should I look for more demiguy statues and moons? All of my uh, usual haunts, which incidentally have now become quite haunting. Uh, here in the castle, in Oxmead, and believe it or not, in some of the surrounding hamlets. Oh, my tormentor is nothing if not thorough. <laughs> Kept me from all my usual engagements for an eternity now. I'll keep I'll looking. keep an eye out for more demiguy statues and see if I can bring you more moons. You are to be commended for your bravery and valor, especially since they can only be collected at night. As I mentioned, my sister Anne misses Hogwarts. She hasn't been herself lately. I'd like to take you up on your promise to visit her with me. I'm heading to Feldcroft soon, so I'll look forward to seeing you there. It's just south of Hogwarts. By the oh. way, hope you're faring well with the blasting curse. It's still one of my favorites. Okay, so Sebastian now wants me... Now that you've attended Whoa. Beast's class, I've <clears> asked Deke to assist you in using the room to further your studies in that regard. Please meet him there when you can. Okay. I've okay. not heard from my Uncle oh, Roland geez. in quite some time. I've been beside myself with worry. Could you meet me in the courtyard? Anything else? Wow, there's a lot of, a lot of people hitting me up for a lot of different things, so... I am going to take a look at my quests here. Um, so this is main, right? Okay. And all main assignments. This is relationships. Side quests. Wow, there is a lot. <clears throat> okay, so um, somebody had informed me. <clears throat> that there are over 40 main quests. So when I was saying the other day that uh, I thought five of eight meant that I was more than halfway finished, clearly um, I was wrong. They're not even close. Um, Y'all did help me out a ton um, by letting me know, just making sure that I got all these, by letting me know that um, some of the Merlin's trials, you don't necessarily have the uh, spells to complete. So that was one of the things um, so far about this game that really got me frustrated, uh, especially as I progress further, because I feel like um, I feel like I'm doing a pretty decent job with enough stuff. So um, given that there are that many main quests, I feel like I'm going to try to start doing the main quests more. So a handful of people had suggested um, checking out the yellow ones um, first and uh, kind of go from there. So th I think that's going to be my goal is to at least um, at least get a couple of main quests done each playthrough. Um, you know, I I'm trying to have a lot of fun with this and explore a lot, but at the same time, I don't think we need this to go like 100, 120 parts or anything like that. So... Um, which was the first one? Dequan's Davin sacked rescue magical beast. Uh, that's gonna be my first one. Oh, meet with Deke. Yep. Okay. So it's it's in the right order too. So we are gonna meet with Deke. 
That is gonna be my first main quest of this playthrough. So once again, thank you to everybody for joining and everybody who has helped me out along the way with your advice and insights and tips. It has been awesome. Uh, again, I can't believe I'm 12 gameplays in, but I feel like I have so much more to go. But at the same time, I'm trying. Did I go down the wrong, the wrong way? Uh, you know, I'm, like I said, I'm trying to find that, that balance between uh, exploring and, you know, and not kind of dragging it out. So many of you said, you know, just play it. Play it how you want to play it. Oh. Some people said to, that I'm way under. It's, it's funny. Some people are like, don't do Revelio as much, but so many people have said that I'm way underdoing uh, Revelio, and that I need to do way more Revelio. So there seems to be like a fine balance between how many Revelios we do. Um, what's on the other side? Nope, nothing through there. Okay. <clears throat> but. Um, some people impressed with my combat skills, some people not so impressed that I aligned my colors in a certain fashion and then proceeded to switch them up. I guess it's when, you know, what I, kind of my mindset behind that is I know the muscle memory is supposed to get there between switching spell sets, but if I know I'm going to be battling uh, a certain enemy where a number of spells Rebellion. are going to be more effective than the next, it almost feels like, well, why not just use... You know, stop, adjust my spell sets. Oh, Jesus. Stop, adjust my spell sets, and then, um, and then proceed with the fight, and then go back and do them. You know, if I was, if I was getting into a combat situation with a ton of different types of enemies where I needed a vast skill set, that might be one thing. But like spiders, for example, or like those zombie type people, it does, does it not make more sense with spiders to have a bunch of the fire attacks in your main spell set? Um, at least that's the way it Rebellion. seems. And in the meantime, I am not casting Rebellio anywhere near enough. Sorry, got hung up. I wonder where that all is. If you guys haven't had a chance to check out our latest and final gameplay from Detroit Become Human, you are missing out on an absolutely incredible time. Uh, things did not go the same way they went for many people who had the game for <laughs> who played through. Um, they turned out Deke. pretty bad. Ah, Deke is so happy to see you. And Deke noticed this bag in the room the other day. You must need it to help with your schoolwork. Deke has seen one of these before. Deke calls it a knapsack. Perfect for gathering and transporting beasts. Ooh, pleasant little breeze. I have been thinking about something Professor Howen said in Beasts class, that I should study as many beasts as I can on my own time. She also mentioned that poachers have been active in the area. So, perhaps the beasts will be safer with us than out on their own. Precisely what Deke was thinking. You see, the room knew exactly what you needed, and luckily, Deke can show you how to best use the knapsack and where. Awesome. Look at his arms. Oh, this is my best trip yet. I get to go hang out with Deke. Our first stop will be beyond the castle grounds. We can leave now, or you can come and find Deke when you're ready to go. I'm ready to learn. I'm ready to learn how to use the knapsack. Perfect. Deke loves an outing. Speaking of the rumor requirement, there was a lot of people who had suggested that I put more potting tables in there or potting plants in there and that it's not just a matter of switching one out so that is one thing I definitely that will do. That was a dark time in Deke's life. Deke found himself in service of the cruelest wizard he ever met. A nasty poacher. Deke hated working for him. He did horrible things to beautiful beasts. Oh. It was during those days that Deke first saw a knapsack. Uh, it'll be nice to see one used for good. 
Don't worry, Deke. Why is that? We have arrived. Deke enjoys coming <laughs> here to watch the beasts, especially the puffle of puff schemes nearby. It would be nice to keep them safe. All you will need to do is get close, direct the open knapsack toward the puff skein, and in it'll go. All right. Kind of reminds me of uh, our boy Newt. Um. So you go. Oh, that's so much fun. You got one. Do cooperate, won't you? Got it. Settle yourself. I mean, you know home. Well, where are the rest of them? Are those smash winder eggs up there. I'm not going to not get the Ashwinder eggs. Winder, Winder, Ashwinder eggs. Are there any more puff skins around here? Or did I get the only... No, there goes one. There goes one. Got him. I'll look after you. I thought there was like five of them up here. Where'd they all go? Revelio. Can I Revelio? Oh, there they are. I was just going to ask if I can Revelio puff skins, and apparently I can. Now, oh, no, we're not going to confringo them. Hey, get back here. Okay, there's another one right over here. Where did he go? Revelio. Oh, there's two of them over here. Okay. The other one's right over there. There he is. Oh, where'd he go? Come on. I'm gonna come up here to try to get a little bit of a bird's eye view. Or do I gotta to talk to Deke to. Because it says I've only rescued six out of ten. Maybe I gotta to talk to Deke to. Like rescue some other animals. We'll go talk to him. <clears throat> I managed to rescue a puffskeen. You can rescue as many as the knapsack will hold. Poachers capture puffskeens and, well, Deke isn't sure what they do with them. Uh, Deke is certain they will be safer with you. 100%. Now, not all beasts will be as simple to rescue as a puffskeen. Deke suggests you next find a beast that can fly. A jobbernol, perhaps. All right. Where would I find one? Deke knows of some to the west, nesting in a large tree overlooking Hogwarts. But we must be careful. Deke has seen poachers in the area recently. Bring Deke it. We'll meet you there whenever you're ready. I'm ready right now. Let's go. Whoa. All right, my guy. Revelio. Can 
Can I catch a chicken? Can I catch these guys? What is this here? Revelio. Hmm. Thought maybe I could spin that thing. Maybe not. Rebellion. Right. We'll get back to uh we'll get back to the task at hand. Whoa. Don't mind if I do. that moonstone some people also let me know that apparently I have still been missing um, my ancient magic power-ups and stuff during battle so that's disappointing do I gotta catch these while I'm on my broom Oh, there's one. Got it. I'll look after you. Maybe is there another one? Or do I gotta get more of these jobber nulls? Whoa! Okay, easy, easy. Hello, Deke. Shall we continue? Oh, good. Deke was worried about you. What with all the poachers in the area. Oh, we gotta I wanna throw it out. Quickly. The jobber nulls are just here in this large tree. If it's helpful, Deke has seen Levioso used to slow flying beasts. Easier to get in close and use the knapsack. Okay. Uh, tips for... Uh, you know, what was it like working for a poacher? Would you mind talking a bit more about what it was like working for your former master? Deke's master was not kind to beasts. Or to Deke. He saw beasts only as a source of income. To be used for potion ingredients and labor and... Deke will not say more. But Deke is grateful to be at Hogwarts, where he can help care for beasts and make amends for the things his master made him do. Ugh, a lot of people want to do that in life, make amends. Um, any tips for rescuing elusive beasts? Do you have any advice on how I can rescue more elusive beasts? Levioso is not only helpful when rescuing flying beasts, it, it can also help rescue beasts that are generally hard to catch. Right. Try using that spell the next time you encounter a small or otherwise elusive beast. Will do. And what if I can't what find What if I them? can't find any beasts in their usual habitat? Beasts won't stray too far from their homes. Look nearby or simply wait a moment and they should return. All right, solid. I've already rescued one, actually. Do you have another beast oh, in mind for today? Okay. Deke does. A clearing nearby is home to a herd of moon calves. Just follow the footpath uphill, and Deke will meet you there. Um... All 
I want to... And then my bottom one be... No, where's Expelliarmos? Repero. What was Expelliarmos? This is Descendo. Depulso. Which one was Expelliarmos? Lumos. Uh, automatically cast on objects summoned to you with Accio. Okay, but I thought I had an Expelliarmo. Okay, so I got Blast, Freeze, Grab. I got uh, Levioso. Okay, but for my top one. No, I'll do this for now. Revelio. You know what I kind of want to do is I kind of want to do I kind of want to fly around and see if there's poachers around like he said. Oh, okay, now I enter one mounted. Just head there. Rebellion. Hello, Deke. Is this the clearing you mentioned? It is. Moon carbs gather near the large tree with the spiral pattern in front, but only under the light of the moon. So, unfortunately, unless you have a way to hasten time, you might sometimes have to wait until nightfall to see them. Mm. Well, we'll ask how he became to be at Hogwarts. How did you end up at Hogwarts after working for your former master? Deke's prior master had no family, so when he died, all of his house elves were relocated by the Ministry. Deke was the I most see. fortunate one as Deke was sent to Hogwarts. Deke's friends were not as fortunate. Oh no. I shall go and find a moon calf then. Deke will be waiting for your return. Advance the. Uh... All right, my guy. Deke, what am I meant to be doing again? You should try to find a moon calf. Since they only come out at night, you may have to wait a little while, depending on what time it is. Oh, it's time. Revelio. Oh, Jesus. Come here, you little... All right. This is why we gotta... Let 
no need to be difficult. I mean you no harm. Levioso. Arrest the momentum. Or you can arrest the momento them. Oh no no no! Come on! Ah, I got one. <laughs> there, there. I'm not going to hurt you. Look at his eyes. Challenge complete. Rescue beasts. All right. Now, now, I'm only trying to help. <laughs> All right, I don't need to rescue another one right now. Rebellion. You know what I'm gonna do, right? Oh, what's this over here? Oh, it's just a flu powder. Okay. Ooh, what's that over there? I thought there was. Oh, it's right up over here. Wool jumper uniform. Oh, look at that. Might as well throw it on right away, huh? Look pretty snazzy. Inventory. What do I have for inventory? Okay. I got a moon claft, jobbernaws, puff skins. All right. Sell value? What kind of horse shit is this? Sell value. I look like a fucking poacher? Isn't this the whole point of doing this? No, I'm not selling them. Oh, but what happens if your thing gets full of them because you get too many? Oh, that's bullshit. That's concerning. Collections? Alright, what do I have for collections? Jobbernal, which never makes any noise until the moment of its death. Okay, so we got that cleared out. Challenges. I think I just cleared up a challenge, right? Oh, you know, somebody did mention that, um, that I defeated some challenges that I hadn't collected my rewards on. Or something I haven't. Oh, claim rewards. Okay. Legendary armored attire. Oh, what? Okay. Okay. So I was not necessarily claiming all my rewards. Magic Chime Spellcraft. Billywig Hive Spellcraft. Okay, awesome. Well, you know what? I think it's about time for a change of outfit here anyhow. Uh, we're gonna go gear appearance. Cloaks and robes. Uh, change appearance. I'm gonna ditch it for a minute, just so. There we go. <laughs> look, look at this. this is set up. <laughs> okay. Um, oh, didn't. Wait a minute. No, no, no. I just got my spider slayer armor. What was the one I just picked up? No, not that one. I just got some other armor. Oh, what was it? Outfit. I just got a different outfit, didn't I? No, 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 no. I thought I just got... Uh, 
I thought I just got a different outfit. Oh, man. I thought I just got a new armor thing, didn't I? Yeah, that one's always pretty badass. Didn't I literally just get us some armor? Seriously? No, it was in my it was in my challenges. Exploration, wasn't it? Was it in quests? Yeah. Complete six main story quests. Gear appearance. Legendary armored attire. So where is that? Where is that available? I don't see. Is it an outfit gear appearance? There we go. Oh. <gasps> What? Are you kidding me? Uh, yeah. Gotta get some different gloves on though, right? Should we go with these? No, these. No, these. These? Those are the winners. All right, now we're all set to go. What was the collection I was missing? Okay, that's what I literally just got, okay. All right, vendor. Okay. Quests. Talk to Deke. Conjuration spellcraft. The elk, the knapsack, and the loom. And the shadow of the estate. Didn't I just complete this one? I just gotta meet back up with Deke. That's all. It was a bit trickier than the others, but I have a moon calf now. Another beast, safe and sound. Shame we didn't see the moon calves dancing. It's a marvelous what? sight. Deke supposes you're finished here. He'll be able to rescue many more beasts, but for now, let's bring the ones you've gathered back to the room. Sounds like right. a good call, Deke. Deke will meet you back in the room whenever you're ready. Go right now. Keep my eye out for poachers on the way. Revelio. Although I suppose there's not going to be any poachers along the way here. Don't think I can just fly up to the room of requirement, can I? Ha! Look at that! Landed right on the bridge! Pretty slick, huh? Revelio! Keep forgetting to do Revelio inside here. Mm. 
Lumos. I don't know what that accomplished. Revelio. One of these cats, I'm telling you. It's gonna turn into McGonagall. Y'all just wait and see. I'll just wait and see. One of those cats is gonna talk to me, and everybody who said I was petting cats for nothing is gonna be like, oh my god. I wish we had pet the cats too, because it's so much fun and the best thing ever. You know what? I'm gonna go back up and talk to Deke. We'll explore the rest of the castle here in a little bit. I gotta see what's going on with these beasts. Okay. It's like there's so much stuff that appears to be in areas I can't Rebellion. get to. It's a little frustrating. I really just flush the toilet. <laughs> There's nothing in the bathroom. I came in here for no reason. Handy resource indeed, your Rebellion. Rebellion. I'm most pleased to be included. Oh, sorry. Nice. All right. Well, that was pretty cool. Got 500 coins for snooping around a little bit. Oh, see, there it is. Lumos. Now, where am I supposed to take this guy? Is it saying by the key? Where am I supposed to be taking this thing to? I mean, I saw the fire up or the thing up on the wall over there, but I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing with this guy. I guess I'll just bring him with me? I don't know. Rebellion. I just let him go. Alright, you know what? We're gonna go upstairs and get this figured out. What? Is there a chest here? Where is the chest? Alright, you know what? We're just. Focus on the task at hand here, Oak. Focus. Okay. Probably could have just transported back up there, but it's good to run through. Rebellion. The seen some people have really really done up their uh their room of requirements i haven't had much desire to go crazy with personalizing it yet but dick thinks you should be proud there you are now we need to show the beast you rescued then you home but um 
Not enough room to let them out here. Imagine all those beasts running amok. That wouldn't do at all. Perhaps if you focus on what your beasts need, the room will provide. Ah, that's interesting. Hmm, what exactly did you think of? What is it? Deke isn't sure. Only one way to find out. Meet you inside when you're ready. Look at this. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, it's beautiful. Look at this. It's amazing. Where are we, Deke? It seems to be a place for your beasts to live, a vivarium of some sort. Oh, your beasts will be quite comfortable here. They'll live healthy, safe lives. Perhaps you want to release them, let them see their new home. Isn't this wholesome? Uh, I'm sorry, wait, tap RB. L R. How about I get my let them all go? So they're not gonna oh, sell them. Deke thinks the vivarium will be a fitting new home for your beasts. Indeed. I only hope we'll have enough space for all of them. Deke hopes so too. But if you do run out of room, Madam Peck at Brood and Peck in Hogsmeade will help to find safe homes for them. Any beasts that the room can't hold? Yes, she's well known for helping to care for beasts in need, and she'll give you a fair price for them. Speaking of care, beasts that are well-fed and groomed will provide you with valuable magical materials, such as puffskin hair, for example. If you gather some magical materials from your beasts, Dee can show you how to use them. Very well. Oh. I shall let you know when I have some. All right. When magical beasts are nurtured, they provide materials. You feed your beast, and if... Your beast feed and beast petting brush are some of the ways to nurture your beasts. Feed and brush and it will release magical materials that can be molded into gear. Puff skins are round and fluffy beasts, soft enough to cuddle, but tough enough to be thrown around. They will eat almost anything, but their favorite meal is bogies. Common household pets. For wizarding families because they are easy to maintain. God, they're adorable. Okay.
Feed and brush this beast and it will release magical materials that can be woven into gear. Okay. Oh, no, no. Not ready to be interacted with. Not ready. Gotta eat some more. Oh, there we go. Got some feathers. Nice. I just need to find a puff skin. Rebellion. There's one. Skin fur. Revelio. I saw there was some stuff over there in the uh, land that I created. It's quite interesting that. Why would that be here? This is a peaceful place. Peaceful music, peaceful scenery. I've collected some magical materials, Deke. Now, Deke can show you how to use them. First, you'll need to use this spellcraft to conjure an enchanted loom. Oh. An enchanted loom. Exactly. It will allow you to use your magical materials to weave magic into the very threads of your clothing. Awesome. Making your clothing more useful in a variety of ways. Why don't you try it? Deke thinks you'll be impressed with what the loom can do. All I'll right. go and experiment with the loom now. Okay. Okay, so I've got a potting table. I saw some people who really had their rooms laid out really cool, and now I feel like my room is a little clustered. So... I forget, completely forget how to... So this is... Conjuration... What does this one do?
Hold, disable snapping, rotate object. Gothic, scientific. We'll go with that one. Hey, what happened? No, no, no. I wanted to move it. Okay. Okay, so you can put... That's not what I wanted. That's not what I wanted either. I need another table is what I need. I need another potting table. Everybody said I need another potting table. Here, let's put one over here. Here we go. We'll do a loom right here. Oh, I like black. There we go. No. There we go. Now I got a loom. Resources required. Moonstone. <laughs> yeah, we got a... Identify unknown pieces of gear and their properties. Oh! Yeah, let's do one of those too. Oh, shit. I... Reached my budget. What do you mean, my budget? What the fuck is that supposed to mean? try something here once. Interact. Use Loom to upgrade your gear. Gear features one primary offense or defense stat by default. Magical materials can be used within the Loom to add and upgrade a secondary stat or apply traits to your gear. Multiple small upgrades can yield meaningful boosts in combat power. New beasts can be rescued at beast dens or unlocked in quests. New trait recipes can be collected in bandit camps. Wow, that is super, super awesome. Let's try this for example. Okay, so how do I upgrade? Oh, I just didn't sell this. Okay, so this is what I'm wearing. Okay, this is stuff that I haven't sold yet. Okay, so this is... Equipped item. Okay, so that's what tells me what I have equipped. I see. View upgrade. Ah, uh, well, upgrade gear. Oh, I need a Niffler fur. Okay. Um. Okay. A few traits. Oh, wait, what? Um. Binding or biology? Crucio? Incendio? Wow, look at all these. Trait level slot two. Okay, so 
I see. Um, from all damage spells. Increase damage of all damage spells. Okay. We'll do that one. Increase damage. Oh. Okay, trade slot level, okay. You upgrade. Upgrade gear. Okay. Upgrade requirements. Fooper feather. New traits. Oh, jeez. I gotta get a lot of these puffkin first, don't I? Okay, so at I least I know I can thing. come back here. I should show Deke. So over here I have my plotting, potting, I should put another potting table over here. Oh, wait a minute, what do I have over here? I have potions and potting. Um, and then I have this. Oh, some. No, all right, now I'm gonna get hung up decorating this room. Okay, this is a big area over here, right? So what I could do is I could take this desk and we could move it over here. Put it down right there. Okay. And now this, I mean, I clearly can't. Oh, no, 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 no. No, no, that's not what I want to do with that. Wait a minute, can I move the chairs and the lamps and stuff too? Okay, so look at that. Now I got this. I can identify gear. Oh. Secret Solver's Tailor Hat. No unidentified gear. Whoa, look at this. Everybody was telling me, hey, go uh, go check out your room of requirement and get it updated. Fluxweed stem. Using the focus potion. Must be grown in large pots. Okay. Puff skin, release beast. No. Okay, so does this mean when I need more stuff, I just walk right back out into here? Revelio. I might as well add him. Well, why wouldn't I let all these guys out? Why, why would I keep them in their bag when they could go out and, and chill? Hey, bud. No, I didn't mean that. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, dude. I did not mean that. Oh, shit. You know what? We'll do this.
Here you go, bud. Goodness, it's sleeping, you guys. Oh, my word. Well, are you, if this just isn't the sweetest thing. Throw you some food. I got a lot of finish eating. <laughs> Back scratches, some belly rubs. check my gear here real quick because I think didn't I get a new um, new headwear oh okay so that is quite a bit I think for gear appearance purposes we're going to uh, change appearance I'm gonna take that one off But, uh, mine as well, um, uh, view upgrade, upgrade gear. Okay. Niffler for toad warts. Okay. View traits. Okay. So I already updated that that I gotta sell view traits that I already got uh, that we're not gonna worry about that's the equipped item do the upgrade I don't have a whooper feather view traits leave trait okay and then this is an equipped item, so view upgrade. Upgrade gear. And uh, I need a moon calf fur. And view traits. Okay. 
view upgrade. Upgrade gear. Okay. Increased damage with ancient magic throw, so that's already upgraded. Upgrading the heck out of damage with spells. Am I not? Defense. Up to. Okay, so the second level. We gotta get some more moon calf fur. Okay, so I think I'm good for right now. Um, getting my room organized a little bit more. Um, although I am curious as to... Yo, no. No, I want you. There we go. Can I move you over just a little bit? Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. All right, cool. Well, I think I'm having a lot of uh, a lot of fun with this, but I am going to keep the story going. I use the enchanted loom, Deke. Wonderful. Will I be able to weave even more powerful magic into my clothing with the loom? You will by rescuing even more powerful beasts. Cool. For now, however, Deke suggests you explore the vivarium and get to know the beasts you've already rescued. Does the loom work with Can all clothing? Can I use the loom to enhance any item of clothing? The loom will only enhance clothing of a certain quality. Deke suspects you'll find more valuable clothing as you explore. All right. Deke also knows that some of the shops in Hogsmeade can provide you with a variety of clothing for you to enhance. Really? Thank you for your help, Deke. I never thought about going to Hogsmeade to buy clothes. I've always just kind of... Complete main quests, eight out of eight. Okay, so, <laughs> so funny. Um, I know when I was playing, I was like, oh, there's only eight main quests. And that's when somebody jumped in and was like, yeah, no, there's, uh, there's actually more than 40. So, yeah, there's that. Um, so, a long way to go, right? Okay, why is it every time I collect, it, like, starts... Um, okay, it starts, I was going to say, it seems like every time I collect, it starts like a new one. I can always empty the plot. Okay, cool. Okay, well, I guess um, the next step really would be to... One, get out of here. And two. Wait a minute. How do I get back into Hogwarts? Here we go. Okay, so I think um, that was a lot of fun. So just organizing the room and everything. And that was one of the things that people really helped me out in the comments with. Um, you know, what's interesting with this game is like, and I look, I know like they're explaining things, but like, I don't want to say I'm ADD, but like, I'm so like, what's next? What's next? And I know just pay attention. Right. Um, but I think there's a lot of things in this game that you would really miss if you weren't actively looking for help. And like I said, I have stayed away from all the YouTube videos with tips and tricks and stuff like that. So the source of my help is pretty much coming from you guys. But even with that, there, look, there have been a handful of people that have really said, okay, for this, you need to do this and this, you need to do this and this, you need to do this. And believe me when I say I appreciate all that very much. Any, look, anybody who's interacting, here, it's, it's, it's a lot of fun for me, and I'll just be super transparent. Like, you know, obviously our reaction channel grew in a, in a fashion that 
that we really had never expected. Yeah. You know, and for us, there was a lot of people who said, oh, you guys should do gaming, it would be fun. And, you know, we weren't necessarily sure how that would that would go, but we were like, okay, well, you know, we'll do gaming. It's, it seems like it'd be a great idea, right? Um, increased damage, okay. And, um, and this is a lot of fun. So I'm, you know, never would have thought I'd uh, be out here playing games and stuff. So it's a fun learning experience. But definitely, it is a fine balance between uh, advice and you know kind of spoiling the stuff that you would want to um, learn if you were playing the game but this is it's funny it's not really any different than like Zelda back in the day right like you had one friend who played Zelda and knew what to do and you played with a new friend and it was like well don't just tell me what to do right away like I want to have fun and any of the older people out there can kind of understand Ooh, claim rewards Ooh, the legendary mask. This I might have to wear. Um, but you know what I'm saying if you played Zelda. Like, we all had that friend, or even something like Super Mario Brothers. Like, was, any game, really. We all had that friend who solved it, and then it was like, okay, do, do I want to know how to solve it? Do I want to really try to figure it out for myself? And everybody was different there. I guess there wasn't really a right answer for that. I mean, I had a buddy who... I think I told you guys the story when he got Zelda for Christmas, he busted open the cheat code book and like went through it to solve everything. And then I had a friend of mine whose dad, uh, my best friend in grade school and his dad was, uh, he, he's been passed for a while now, but his dad was just, oh God, guys, I get, <laughs> so you know you're getting old. Like I, I honestly get emotional talking about my friend's dad. He was like second parents for me, but um, his dad necessarily wasn't like a big video games guy. But when he got Zelda, his dad took the, uh, the tips and tricks book right away. Let's see how this looks. Oh my God, that looks so badass. <laughs> uh, but I'm just gonna go with, uh, you know what? I, I don't wanna wear that right now. It's just, I don't know. But in any regard, so my friend Kyle's dad um, had the tips and tricks book or the cheat book or whatever. And he made him like try, try and try again. And even the dad was there like helping him with the logical steps. And it was only under very severe circumstances where it significantly paused the gameplay that his dad would help him out. So I guess kind of the reason that I tell that story is because it, it feels, it feels relevant here. You know, like everybody's being so, why is my challenge this thing? I, I promise guys, I'm not, uh, It shows that I'm missing something, but then I go through them all. See what I'm saying? Uh, I don't see any exclamation points here. Wait. Oh, there it is. Now it finally popped up. Gear trait recipe award, ancient magic. One, okay. There's my long story about how I very much appreciate you guys helping me out, but um, I'll kind of, I guess, you know, kind of what I'll do is if you guys see me getting like really frustrated, I, I'll kind of put it out there that, uh, that I think I need help. <laughs> okay, so we are going to go on another uh, main quest because I want to make sure that I'm getting these done again. I understand that this is a very long gameplay, much longer than I would have thought. So I, I kind of want to keep the main quests going. And I think some of the other side quests... Um, God, this is a lot of side quests building up though, right? Uh, we'll do one more main quest and then maybe get a couple of, uh, a couple of side quests in. Suggested level. Mr. Moon. Oh, man, I gotta get... See, these, I think I gotta get to them, though, because remember... Um, in order to be able to pick those locks. Okay, I'm gonna do this one real quick, because the fact that... I Look, I know it's a video game, but I'm playing, like, as if... I'm just going with it. So the fact that somebody seems worried about somebody, I should speak with her. We're going to do this one real quick because I don't, that, um, <laughs> I guess, 
Like, I know it's a video game, but morally, it will bother me if, uh, if the video game is telling me that somebody is worried about somebody, and I'm just like, oh, run around and do this. Uh, I get it's a video game, but helping people has... It's good to help other people, right? It's, I, I am f very fortunate to have grown up with both a stepfather and a father who Rebellion. were very, very adamant on helping others in need when you could help. And one of the things, and I've mentioned this before on our reaction channel, one of the things that my dad always said is don't ever be a somebody do something person. Don't ever be a somebody do something person. And if you, you don't catch what that means right away, so oftentimes in life, um, we find ourselves in, I shouldn't say so often, but you know, there's times where we find ourselves in life where somebody needs help and we've all seen you know people gather around and be like somebody do something you know like the modern version of of that today is when people take out their cell phones and record bad shit happening instead of helping and i'm not suggesting that everybody can help in any circumstance but if you can don't ever be a somebody do something person be the person that does something. Rebellion. you know what i'm saying if you're if you're in a spot where you're saying somebody do something of course unless it's uh, again a situation where do I not have Lumos do I need to Lumos this every time uh, I, I always wonder if I'm missing something with my not Lumosing it here we'll do a we'll change up I don't know but uh yeah in any regard i mean there's going to be certain circumstances where you know for example if somebody needed somebody to pick something very heavy off of somebody and you weren't strong enough to do something you might say somebody do something to garnish the attention of somebody who may be able to help or you just gather multiple people and try to figure out a way to do it together but in any regard that is my lesson from my father. Don't be a somebody do something person. If you are in a situation where somebody needs help, do it. That might be very overly dramatic for the situation. She might need help finding gobstones or something. <laughs> Adelaide Oaks, isn't it? I received your owl. Yes, I'm Adelaide Oaks. Oh dear. You see... My uncle Roland is a metal trader who's quite well known in the goblin community. He normally sends me owls every week when he's on his business travels. In his last owl, he alluded to dealings with those radical goblins, oh Ranmox loyalists. It's been ages since that owl and I'm worried. What with the troll attack on Hogsmeade and the rumours that goblins may have been involved, well, I'm fearing the worst. Should I be worried about my uncle, or am I overthinking this? Oh, well, it's family. Um boy Pff, I would be worried I'd rather be straightforward I don't want to induce anxiety but at the same time you know she might take the uh, proper precautions I think you're right to be concerned Adelaide your uncle may be in trouble you're much more understanding than Professor Weasley she heard I was going to look for him and forbade me from leaving the grounds she's convinced he can handle himself but I can't concentrate on anything until I know he's all right. You want me I... to go throw down? Could you try to find out for me? From <laughs> what I hear, you're Hell yeah. as adventurous as Uncle Roland. All right. Uh, are you and your uncle? Tell me more. We'll say can tell me more about my uncle's business with the goblins. So before um, I took full time work with the Mr. Olympia and then the Arnold Classic afterwards, I worked for a Fortune 500 investment company. And, you know, we went through so much training as far as, you know, cultural competence and working with, you know, people in groups and stuff like that. And one of the, the, the catchphrases they had, anytime there was a misunderstanding, they wanted us to keep saying, tell me more. Like if somebody had a problem with you, well, this, 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 tell me more, uh, you know, a, a good way to try to help understand. But so that was the phrase, tell me more, <laughs> tell me more. And then it turned into like this big joke. Like if somebody was swearing at me, like, oh, you asshole, you this, fuck you, this, this, this. Like, oh, 
tell me more. So anytime I see tell me more. Uh, yes, I get for ages. That. Even speaks gobbledygook. But he only recently mentioned Ranrock's lot. Insisting the galleons were worth the risk. He does it for me. Between robes and supplies, attending Hogwarts costs a fair sickle. And besides that, Uncle Roland has extensive Unless case. you're Harry Potter. He's sacrificed so much for me over the years. I promised him that as soon as I finish Hogwarts, I shall be the one taking care of him. Wasn't it wild that Potter had just a vault full of full of gold? Well, it's are you and your uncle close? Clearly, she just said she was going to be taking care of him. But in the interest of conversation, we'll answer the question. I take Ask it you rather. and your uncle are close. We are. My mother died when I was born, and I lost my father when I was five. Uncle Rollins looked after me for as long as I can remember. He knows I get anxious when he travels, and that's why he sends me all the owls. To let me know that he's all right. All right. I'll try and look into Let's it. Let's get some me. shit done. Thank you. He's very thorough in his record keeping. Notes all his trades in a journal. Makes maps. In fact, in his last hour, he drew me a map of his next stop. He planned to set up camp north of here. All right. Let's I take a look. I do hope you're able to find out where he is. Thank you again for any help you can provide. Never been this long. I just know something's happened. So I gotta get out of here. I might as well just fly there, right? I hope Adelaide's Uncle Roland is alright. She seems very worried. Adelaide mentioned her uncle's camp may be near Brockborough, past the river. Revelio! I'll just fly low and Revelio everything. What happens? Oh, you just bump into trees. Oh, there are a lot of things that I... Wait a minute. Whoa, 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 Why can't I dismount here? What the f... Why can I not dismount here? This is bullshit. How can I not dismount here? What is going on here? I saw the paw print, which means I should be able to. Could this be Mr. Oaks's can rock stylist? Oh! Should I take them by? Oh, Sorry. hang on, hang on. No, hold on. Hold your horses. All right. Oh. Okay, I gotta back out so I can see what I'm doing here. Be all right here. Just gotta spin around. All right, punk. Protego. No. Where'd he go? Now to find out what happened here. Ranrock has fooled you all to your demise. Oh, it feels like the first time I battle any time I play again. Like I'm always fumbling all over the place. And somebody got, uh, somebody's like, why did you switch them all up? And I, I guess I switched my spells because it feels like... That was a bad one because I got rid of... Uh, um, I got rid of Incendio. 
I should have used Expelliarmus. See, so that's... So if I go up, that's two red attacks on my left and bottom. And if I go over, that's two different attacks. But still Accio. Okay, well. So really, for this one, I should do Depulso for that. I don't know how fast I'm going to battle again, but in any regard. Um, Rebellion. A lot of people saying I'm leaving. Mr. Works is trade channel. Okay, here we go. Rangrot's lot agreed to meet, but I do feel a tad uneasy. They amended their requests and were angry when I asked questions. I overheard some of their plan in Gobblegook. They're after my rare metal deposits that are suitable for drilling. I'm afraid to upset I'm afraid of upsetting them further. They seem rather volatile. And I need this transaction to help happen. Perhaps we can word out a compromise. Perhaps not. Adelaide said that her uncle kept notes of his trades, maps. Perhaps these landmarks will lead me to him. Okay, so this is where we're at, and this is where we're going. Okay, so I need like a castle door with that seems so like Vag. Oh boy, I don't know. I should investigate. Oh. Oh. What is in here? Rebellion. Have I already been in here? Ain't going in there. Let's get out of here, yo. That's gonna be a hard. Oh, is that like lava or something? Or? Okay, I gotta be honest. Um. Phew. sure what that all means I know this is a side quest so or is that yellow thing where I need to go I thought yellow was where main quests were all right one okay. less human to worry about oh yeah Stop it. all right now I'm a little warmed up punk <laughs> How's that? Oh. Bring 
humans to battle. I'll take them all. Run the other Revelio. What are these things? Rock formation. That's the first landmark on this map. Now to find the crooked tree. Uh huh. All right. Now we're getting somewhere. I want to go back and throw it on with these dicks, though. So. Where are they? It should just be right on the other side of the river, no? Stop right there! My pleasure. Expelliarmus. You ain't gonna do One shit to me, in the punk. World. Oh, those were poachers. <laughs> Fuck you guys. God, I fucking hate poachers. If you're uh, catching my gameplay for the first time, I went on a little tangent last time about how I felt about poachers. Um, oh shit, now I got turned around though. I went on a pretty significant tangent about how I felt about poachers. Just people who are cruel to animals in general. Revelio. Okay, was that the rock formation on the map? Let's take a look at the map. Uh, the rock formation. Okay. I didn't really see it, but you know what? We'll, uh... Oh, uh, what the hell? We're chopping wood now. Was I in here already? I don't feel like Rebellious. I, I feel like there's so much to explore here. Wait, what is that? How is that? On the other side, or what? Accio. Revelio. Accio. Okay, it's not blue, so I wouldn't be able to move it, huh? Just a cave, huh? Well, that's curious. I'm very curious. <clears throat> Um. Do the maps. Okay, well here's somewhere that beasts might be. Might as well check this out. Oh wait a minute, that looked familiar, didn't it?
Oh no 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 no! I'm sorry, buddy. I didn't mean to do that. I didn't mean to do that. Oh no! no. You don't. Oh, I didn't mean to do that, dude. Oh no! Oh no! That wasn't good, guys. Why am I? Revelio. Oh. Niffler, those were so cute. Wasn't the Niffler the little guy in uh, Magical Beast that kept stealing everybody's stuff? No need to be difficult. I mean you no harm. Let me also. <laughs> all right. Everything's all right now. Now I'm getting the hang of it. Rebellion. I caught a little Niffler. Oh, there's a lot of Moonstone over here, huh? I thought there were a lot more animals back over there, though. Maybe more I could be looking for, or was that it? Did I Rebellion. see the rest? I scare the rest of them away. Okay, so that camp I already took care of. Okay, I'm a little confused. And guys, I should know this by now, right? Because... Release beast? No, they're going to get released in my... Uh, they're going to get released... In my... Mischievous, yep, this is the Niffler. Oh my god, how much fun was the Niffler in um, Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them? Okay, um, still really super confused, however, about using these treasure maps. Broken down building with a water wheel, it looks like. Oh, what I was going to look at is um, when I go to quests, the yellow is meet Sebastian in the Fieldscroft. So the yellow is always going to be whatever the main quest is. So I get a little distracted because I feel like, okay, that's where I need to be going. But that's not the side quest I'm on right now. But I'm on if I'm being honest, I don't know where I'm going. Oh shit, I know what I was gonna do. Did the um did the map have a uh a compass on it? No, see that's the other problem. There's no north, south, east okay, so that's north. So that's north. So I need to be going to the west. I think I need to be heading west. Didn't I just come from the west? That's not what I meant to do. Rebellion. Didn't I already collect this thing? I 
I thought I already collected his journal. Like 99.9% .9 sure I already collected his journal. Yeah. Okay, got that completed. I gotta go this way, I guess, up by those rocks. That's weird because I felt so. I see the check mark sign, and it's like some you get check marks. I'm not exactly sure what y'all like really have to complete. Why is it not letting me mount? Get, get out of here. Um, if that makes sense, guys. So, like... And I apologize. I know sometimes I'm talking to the screen and you guys will answer me. And then, like, there's so many comments, it's hard to get through them all. So sometimes people provide answers to questions that I have. And then I come back and they're like, I answered your question. Captain Numbnuts. And you didn't listen. Okay, so this feels like I'm right above this. And I went into that cave and found a Niente. And I can't answer that while I'm mounted. What is this over here now, though? What's this over here? You know what? I want to go there because it's got a skull on it and it looks intriguing. Oh, is that where the... Uh, is that bat the battle dome? Is that what that is? What do we have here? Uh oh. Hmm. I may have more luck higher up in the keep. Stone walls do a prison make. Oh, little moon calf. Oh, oh. this is the spot on the map. Best have my wits about me. Ooh, this shouldn't take long. Take it. Stupid. Glacier. Stupid. 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 Oh. Where'd that come from? Alright, let's see who we got left. Okay. I forgot that guy's in purple. I gotta use purple, but I have a defendo, defendo. All right, I'm gonna go down here. And the Noro runes. What will we find in here? No, I wanna go back out and fight. I'll go back into this place in a minute. What up, bruh? Mm. Oh. Take that. That was an easy task. What else we got over here? I want some too? I ain't gonna waste it on you. Ooh, is that ancient magic? 
Okay, that's what y'all are talking about. Whoa! How do I find the rest of these clowns? Rebellion. Too fast, sucker. Where is that guy? I won't rest until you're dead. Where's the next one at? Revelio. This looks like trouble. Trouble's what I'm looking for. What is it doing that for? Goblins will finally rule over wizards. What was that? I feel as though I'm not alone. That was nothing. That intruder! Where are they? Dude is. No, come back. Where were you? I hate it when it does that. Today, bitch. You gonna make me pay? Is that the plan? Brewing and I'm without my friends. Uh oh, we got a troll coming up here. Watch this. Oh, you guys weren't kidding this, uh... Shit, he got me. Oh, drink some wiggle while. Not 
not today. Shit. Yeah, that does make a huge difference. Oh shit, he got me. Bogies. Feel like I'm getting a little better at that. What went on here, I wonder? Revelio. Goodness. Not a party to attend by myself. Trying to figure out where I'm going here. Alright, I think I need to dismount. There we go. Slow a loyalist assassin. Oh, they must be down there. All right, took out some bad guys. I'm gonna get some loyalists. Hopefully, I can fuck up a poacher or two. Oak like poachers. One bit. If there's something you should know about me, I am an animal lover. I do not like poachers at all. difficult to um, wrap your head around sometimes the number of amazing animal species we've lost over the years because of poaching and it's just uh, I must be going mad. Ignorant, ignorance Let me just flat out ignorance oh, shit How nice stop by it looks as though Adelaide's instincts were spot on. Your blood's on Ranrock's hands. So it looks like those, the uh, the magic, you gotta like run over and get that stuff, huh? Revelio. Couple more punks in here. Is that what we got? Oh, you want some? A human's word is worthless. This prisoner owes us. Protego. Shit, can't Protego. Red. Can't Protego yellow. Is that the best you can do? Oh, please. No! Oh, oh, what an Won't get away with that. You are terribly 
outmatched. Surely you can see that. Expelliarmus. Protego. Not my best battling, but. Should they got the high ground now. Incendio. I gotta expel the armus, this guy. Expel Incendio. Whoa, look at that. Whoa. in here. Revelio. Alright, get out of here. Cool. That was pretty awesome. Just another one of those things with this game where just crazy Boy attention to detail. How do I find it? Rebellion. that just open okay this is Where did I go? all right looks like I'm gonna have my hands full when we get in here we'll get what we're Which spell sets? I will make you pray. Expel the others. Let me go. Well, this doesn't hurt. What's the point of it? I 
won't rest until can bring <laughs> There we go. Now I'm getting the hang of it. Oh, kind of. Oh, shit. Incendio. Expelliarmus. I keep trying. I for, keep forgetting to switch my s spell sets. Ugh. Used a lot more wiggle wall potion than I wanted to there. Okay, so next time use the red barrels. <laughs> Revelio. Okay, we'll collect this. Yes. Is my hunch right about the red barrels? Yeah, you know, we'll go this way. Ooh, look at these. This must be Mr. Oaks's wand. Perhaps now he can set himself free. These hats aren't doing me much good. Uh oh. Who's that over there? Okay, so. Gotta get back out. Which way am I going? table. More coins. More coins. A rat. Where is that coming from? Hmm. Where is that coming from? Oh, those are picks. I gotta light this thing again? Incendio. This is where I came in. Looks like there's a side room here that doesn't lead to anything. Um, this doesn't lead to anything. This is all just one big room. That didn't lead to anything. Hmm.
Oh, found more of these turds. Oh, see. around here. Am I preparing for something massive or what? I don't feel like I've been here before. Have I? midday uniform that's why what what's going on with this music all of a sudden okay we'll bust through that wall Revelio. Hey, look, a door. Alohomora. Okay. So this was an empty room? Maybe not. Maybe not. Or maybe so. A ceramic mask. That looks kind of... Kind of creepy, right? So I came through that door. And this is a dead end, looks like. Revelio. Is this the way I came in or is this a new way? I can't remember, guys. Okay. West. You guys are probably yelling at your screen if this is the way I came in. North Hogwarts region exit. Son of a bitch. Are you fucking raw dogging me? I did not just turn around and go all the way back out. Okay, west is out, I guess.
Yeah, that's a dead end. I already went there. So west takes you out. I've already been to the south. What is over there? Aha. A druid wolf cape? That's what I came under here for? Son of a bitch. Revelio. <sighs> this level is going to be the end of me. Um... West is out. I don't recall missing this fork lump juice. And there's an enemy up here which tells me. Oh, way to hit the wall, dipshit. Follow a Ranrock. Yeah, Ranrock. found him. Here we go. He's in this room. Hello? Mr. Oaks? Yes, I'm here. They've taken my wand. This cell has an enchanted lock. I have experience with these locks, but I need my wand if I have any chance of opening I got you, homie. I've heard them speak of it. Fortunately, I've already found your wand, Mr. Oaks. Please, pass me my wand. I can't get out of this damn cell without it. It's my last hope. Please. My wand. Oh, thank you, Ernie. Thank you. I got you. <laughs> you did it! I found my wand and... Wait, you're a student? Oh, we must get you to safety immediately. It's dangerous. It's all right, Mr. Oaks. I've dealt with these goblins before. Look at that yeah, outfit. Right. You're either very lucky or very talented. Well, how did you find me? I'm a friend of Adelaide's. She was worried about your business with Ranrock's loyalists. Oh, she was right to be. I couldn't go through with the agreement, and when I told them, I ended up blindfolded and behind bars. Been locked in that infernal cell for Bastards. so long they forgot I was even there. I overheard things. If only I could reward you for what you've done. Blasting goblins stole every canut on me. All I can say is thank you. Truly. Um, let's say, what are you, or, or do you speak gobbledygook? Am I right that you speak gobbledygook? Gobbledygook. <laughs> to Ramrock's fiends, I do. I've always had an affinity for goblin culture. 
Knew I wanted to be a metal trader ever since I was a lad. It wasn't easy learning the language. It's, it's complex. And my memory's as weak as my knees these days. But after decades working with fine goblin folk, I grew fairly proficient. At least, I'd like to think so. What did you overhear? You, you overheard things. <sighs> Sad tale, really. I think I know where Ramrock's unfortunate vendetta against wizard kind began. Although dragon breeding was outlawed by the Warlocks Convention of 1709, Ranrock stumbled upon an illegal dragon camp. He was young, found the creatures fascinating. He'd visit the camp in secret whenever he could, never making his presence known. After weeks of sly surveillance, he finally summoned the courage to speak to the wizard in charge. Ranrock wanted to join them and the creatures. The wizard happened to drop his wand. Ranrock saw an opportunity. He picked it up, went to hand it back as a, a means of introducing himself. The sight of a goblin with a wand sent the wizard into an instant rage. Uh, he beat Ranrock nearly to death. That's Ever good. since, Ranrock has despised wizard kind. Sees us all as cruel. I'm grateful I was able to help you, Mr. Oaks. Adelaide thinks the world of you. Oh, and I her. She's become quite savvy to my trading habits, always analyzing my detailed owls. Oh, if only I hadn't resorted to trading with such fiends. A lesson I shan't soon forget. Shan't Having soon my wand back is like being reunited with an old friend. I must return home and inform Adelaide of my safety. Will you be all right? I'll be fine, Mr. Oaks. You get back to Adelaide. I assure you, her worries outweigh yours. Oh, I'm anxious to see my dear niece. And then I plan to travel far from here for my next round of trading. Good Thank call. you. May life reward you justly for your deeds. Be well, my friend. Mr. Rokes was lucky. Ranrock's lot would never have freed him. Rebellion. Still want that chest. Gotta be in here. Ah, nice wiggle wall potion. Hard to have too much, right? Uh, I know I gotta head west to get out, but. Revelio. That. Oh, that was the uh. Good All right, I'm gonna head west, bail out of here. Revelio. Do a revelio or two along the way. Look at that. It's able to help a friend in need. Wait, I thought West was out. Was East out? Can I just travel out of here? Is that a thing? Oh, look at this. Inventory. Check what I got here right quick. So gear, new eyewear, that is up. Oh, whoa. Up to 184, up to 193. That's where we wanna go. Although this looks pretty badass. Um, so we're gonna do that. However, we are gonna do a change appearance. I don't want those on. Um, what do we get for headwear? Anything worthwhile? No, no. Stuff we can sell, cloaks and robes. No, no. Nope. And outfits. Nope. It's the 
stylish midday uniform. All right. Talents. Oh, we got another talent. Um, what did somebody say? Not the talent spell set. Perfect Protego releases a damaging blast that breaks enemy shields. That's interesting. Hmm. I'm trying to think what everybody was saying. I pulled towards you, Accio. Levioso or levitated. Confringo. I think somebody said, um, okay, Descendio, Dark Arts, um, I don't even have that, Core, level 22, what was this one? Breaks enemy shields. So if I do a Protego, it breaks enemy shields. Uh, what was this one again? Ancient magic throw. Catches and throws. Disarm. Hmm. What is the room requirement? Chinese chomping cabin. Yeah, these I didn't really... Okay, so... I think I want to go with the... Accio Levioso... What was this one again? I think I'm going to go with the perfect Protego, to be honest. Okay. Collections. Necklace, wow. And over here we got uh, what's this? A small table with lively games atop. Okay, well, that seemed fun and challenges. Let's take a look here. Combat challenges defeat 40 dark wizards. That's pretty cool. What did I do this time? Compete 20 dueling feats. The pumpkin mask. That seems super creepy. Defeat infamous foes. Avenging wolf mask. What? Oh, I didn't do that. I thought I got something. Well, maybe not. Okay. Okay, so I gotta get out of here yet. All right, well, that's interesting. I thought west was to get out of here. Maybe east? Well, it sure isn't west. And I can't bring up my map, so I can't just travel out of here. Apparently. I am 100% lost, people. Okay, so I think I gotta go back this way. Oh, hey, what's this? There we go, three coins. Oh, this is not good, people. I am super... Super turned around. Maybe it was west. Nope, it definitely wasn't west. Oh wait, yeah, it was. I just had to go up and around into the west. 
right? Am I on my way out? Ah, I am on my way out. All right. Cool, cool, cool. Let's see what we got here. Oh, jeez. I just got out and I got a fight right away. Can I not mount here? Mushroom tea, huh? How about a nice warm cup of whoop ass? Sorry, I have to. Oh, Fatego does mess him up. Holy shit. Okay, that's uh. I don't like the looks of that encampment. Look at that. Glad I was never locked up here. Okay. Uh, where's that coming from now? Try to find where these guys are. There they are. And Who's that over here? What's up, bud? Oh, I wanted to do Protego. Oh, shoot. I didn't even mean to do that. I was going to do a Protego, but I hit Glacius instead. Oh, well. Revelio. That's cool. All right, let's break on out of here. All right, well, I think, you know what, let's go, um, let's go make our way to another main quest. How about that? How come I can't go where my main quest area is? Rebellion. Whoa, 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 look at this. We are right in the middle of it. Oh, I don't like fighting mongrels. fighting mongrels at all. It's probably one of my least favorite parts of this game because they just kind of look like wolves to me. I don't know why we're fighting wolves in this game. I know that might be a little overly sensitive or nitpicky or something like that. I just, I don't know. Might be a a little softer on the edges with shit like that, but like I said, animal lover, I just walk into a field and there's some wolves hanging out. It doesn't make any sense to me why I would take them out. I mean, I get it, it's part of the game, but I don't have a lot of gripes. I get they're mongrels, they're not wolves, but they look just like wolves. Isn't it weird how people are like that? Like, <laughs> I'd rather take out a hundred mythological beings who have the ability to make 
the choice is past just instinct. All right. Um, I'm going to try to Levioso this guy by his tongue. Or do I have to go to Wingardium Levioso? Okay. All right, buddy, get your tongue out. Oh, God damn it. Shit, I hit just the dodge button and not the spell dodge. Now I gotta try to actually fight this. Incendio! Incendio! Shit. Yeah, so I hit the B button and of course did one of those. Instead of, uh... Shit. Instead of just rolling to where I needed to be. I swear. Why is it... I don't understand what's happening here. See, it's showing... It's showing, like, the area where I need to go, except I can't enter while mounted. Alright, I am going to dismount here, people. Well, that's a weird noise. Revelio. Isn't this just where I was? Uh, apparently not, because there's a troll up here that I'm gonna have to battle. Glacius! Couldn't bring up! Defend up! Couldn't bring up! Holy smoke! Shitty fight. A very, very shitty fight. I don't even know where I am that I'm just running into all these people. I'm famished. Yeah? One less human to worry about. Yeah. Ah. Ah. Expelliarmus. That was pretty quick. You only have Bad right Rock to blame. You only have a run rock to play. All right. All right, got some moonstone. All right. Let's see. I should see where I, like I have no idea where I'm actually at. Okay. So 
so I am not that far away from Hogwarts at all. A den inhabited by Nifflers, so I think I already went there. You know what, let's go there and then go back. I'm gonna go to the Niffler Den. Rebellion. See if I can't get a few of those. And then, uh, then make my way back to up along the way. What was that, butterflies? on the Nifflers. Let's see if there's any over here. Rebellion. No, well, looks like I already took those guys out. there are no surprises yeah a couple of poachers i got a surprise for you I'm dick Rob face Can you made a mistake oh. 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 punk ass bitches revelio going after Oh, what's in here? Hello, oh, you motherfuckers. Don't worry, I got this.
There we go. I got you, buddy. No, don't run away. Revelio. Where's it going? Now, now, I'm only trying to help. Come on. Let me go. Oh, this is gonna drive me nuts. Yeah, I got it. I got it. I'll look after you. Oh, this is the one that I can't do yet because I don't have the right, right. Uh, So I kind of said it before, um, this was one of the Merlin trials where I got super frustrated with and people had let me know that not, um, that you're going to run into Merlin trials that are beyond the scope of what, um, what your spell set is. And that was one of them. And I sat there, I tried every spell, climbing on it, jumping on it, everything like that. Rebellion. All right, well, I smoked a couple of poachers, which was fun, and uh, got a couple of beasts captured to help bring them to my room of requirement and let them free. So that was pretty cool, right? Um, okay, now I am going to. Um, we're going to take a look at um, combat. What did I? What did I get here? Um, gear trait recipe reward cushioning. Okay, so there's gear trait recipe reward. So that's interesting. That's definitely new for me, or at least new as far as I can tell. Uh, Collections here. What do we get in the collection? Uh, mountain troll. Troll's forehand, backhand swing pattern will break through common shield charms. Dodging is the safest defense. Distance will not protect you as it will tear up chunks of earth and throw them. After the troll slams his club in the ground with both hands, flipping it upward with a flipendo will have a greater leverage than usual, sending the club into the troll's face for a powerful blow. Hitting control with its own boulder will catch it off guard and make it more vulnerable to follow up attacks. All right, well, that's pretty cool. Inventory. Sell value. Not a chance. Not a chance. All right, so. Let's take a look at quests. Ghost of our love. A friend indeed. Serona, the proprietor of three broomsticks, sent me an owl request for a meter at my earliest convenience. I shall find out what she needs. What is the next? I said I was going to do these. You know what? This one has been kind of um, put off here. I said I wanted to get um, main quests in. A couple of main quests. So... That is what we are going to do. Rebellion. And I don't necessarily know that I want to run the entire way. What was that? All right. Oh, these guys. Confront them. Defend them.
Does everyone else just stop randomly as much as I do to pick stuff up? Where am I going? Rebellion. Random Revelios everywhere. Only let you do so much Revelio. Should I see if I can get a new course record? Not right now. Not right now. Revelio. Okay, you know what? Where in the f this is the same problem I had last time. Where is this thing trying to take me? This is gobbledygook. Where am I going? Seriously? I gotta fly all the way there? Holy bejesus. Is there not have I not discovered any flu flames around there? Apparently not. Wow. I think I gotta hug the mountain, basically. I suppose if you could fly up over the mountain, then it would be like an extended another world, so they have to stop you from flying over the mountain because where does the video game design end, right? Okay, I get it. That makes sense. doesn't make sense is how little I was doing Revelio there. Alright, should I try getting one of these guys from the tongue? Give a little motivation. Things go. Uh, where did they go? God damn it. I'm Leviosa. 
Levioso. Well, see, I'm trying to Levioso it. It's tough. Levioso. Oh, I already did levitate it. I already got that. Well, now I just better go to work. I didn't see the whole green thing. I'm sitting here trying to... Just let me skip stones? That's a first. Whoa, what is all that over here? What is all that? That's gotta be spiders, right? Or mongrels? I mean, there's just so much when you're on your way to a mission. There's just so much other, like, side Rebellion. stuff to do. It's crazy. It's like, you kind of gotta... to go and do this mission because otherwise I am going to get so sidetracked by every little thing. I mean, there's so much to do in this game and I don't mind stopping for a little battle along the way. Why not have a little bit of fun, right? Okay. Got that done. There's 
Spider Fang. Oh shit, what the hell is that? Well, that's brand new. Incendio. Oh shit. Shit, shit. Oh god damn. I... That is wild. Cool. Well, that's new. Now spiders can. Wow. This gives me a. Uh... Gives me the heebie jeebies. Holy Jesus. When did spiders start doing that, everyone? Okay. Oh, wait, what do we got over there? Yeah, thanks for the... It's pretty hard to miss the Ashwinder eggs, right? They're kind of bright orange. Stone. Oh, look at this. I discovered a new All right. a little faster. Rebellion. What do we got here? Are those way up there? Where are those enemies? Oh, what do we have here? Holy shit. I have a couple of elk. Mine's Robin. Are these poachers? Let's have some fun. Oh, oh you want a petrifical petrifical meal? How about that? Oh, and how about some for you too, loser? Everyone gets lucky now and then. Take out this whole camp of poachers. Oh, nah, you're not petrifical totalis and shit on me. Uh, how do you like that? Oh, shit, you got somebody else. Not a chance. Nope. Not even close. All right, where's the rest of your slack-ass crew of poacher motherfuckers? I understand why more don't. They're remarkable. Oh, they're remarkable. Yeah, watch me. You owe me galleys, and you can't pay. Ah, Let's what's up? Tombstone. Best get this. That's what you get for being a poaching asshole, you piece of shit. Where are your buddies at? You know what? First, I'm gonna steal all your shit. How did I get mixed up in this? Doing Rookwood's work for him. Well, I might get a little sidetracked on my quest, but I don't know if these are poachers or who they are, but they deserve to get the business, is what I know. My gear slots are full. I better go sell off some gear. I'll do that too. Oh, where are they at? I want to 
I'll throw this at him. Somebody out there? Surprise, motherfucker. Uh, this is all, man. I don't recommend you try. Huh? How about that? Oh, this is getting to be too easy. Poachers are too easy. Revelio. Anything good up here? You guys got anything good I can steal? No, just this. Oh, what's this over here? Some wiggle well potion. Light this dude up in the process. Hey, bud. Guess what? Today's your last day. Hey, what's up? I see you. Nobody will believe I defeated the Lashwinder by myself, punk. All right, now we can get back to the uh, where are the mission at hand. All right. Well, sometimes I feel a strong urge to do that to people I feel deserve it. Rebellio. And so... There is a lot along the way, and I'm trying not to stop and do everything, but... The sooner I take these poachers out, the these better. These rocks have seen better days. What's up, sucker? <laughs> I didn't even know what hit him. Now you're just getting on my nerves. Place my room. Oh yeah, me too. Oh shit, I gotta watch out for that one. Oh shit, I gotta watch out for that one. Oh, I'm gonna get out of it alive. Trust me. Not today, bitch. I'm sorry, Petrificus Propotus. Could it be a Merlin trial? Uh, why not, right? Let's do a Merlin's trial. Let's do it. I'm still going to do this main quest. Revelio. Oh, these are the flippendio ones that everybody was telling me about that I don't have the spells to do for these Merlin trials, so... Everybody told me, do Rebellion. not freak out over these Merlin's trials, because you do not have the proper spells to do them. Although I am curious about the rocks, because those are actionable. Alright. Can I collect squirrels as magical beasts? I don't Rebellion. know. So. 
Alright, you know what? Back to the mission. See, isn't that fun when you get... Like, that's one of my favorite parts of the game. You're like, eh, I'm kind of on my way to a mission, but you know what? Revelio. There are bad people about, and so the sooner I take care of bad people, the better off the entire world is going to be, and I enjoy a good battle. Who do we got here? You're making this too easy. Oh, yeah? <laughs> Oh, oh, yeah. Y'all make it too easy. No, 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 don't go away, don't go away, don't go away. Oh, got it. Is this another, what sort of Merlin's trial is this? Should I try this one? Revelio. I might as well, right? It's been a minute since I've done a Merlin's trial. Um, okay, these um, I do recall. So this is one I got really super frustrated with. And everybody just told me that I gotta basically climb on them. Or something like that. So... That's what I was told. So, see, this is a 0% chance that I would have ever guessed this. And this, is, and this is what I'm talking about, like... From a... Is there another one? Wait, what? What the hell just happened? Revelio. Is that part of the Merlin's trial over here? Do I gotta run and jump on all those? And then... Something? Revelio. Okay, I'm a little curious about this one. This is one that people told, like, helped me out with. They're like, oh, you just gotta climb up on top of them. And now I'm on top, but. Oh, well, we'll try again. I'm not exactly sure how this is going to work, but you all know me. I'm not giving up. Okay, so is this part of the Merlin's trial? Do you have to repulse that thing from way over there? <sighs> wow, wow, wow. Okay, let's try this again. Oh. 
Oh, you just said to run fast. I was just going too slow. Look at that. Oh, that's cool. Another Merlin's trial. But again, there's zero chance I would have ever guessed that alone. Is there a bad person over there? Oh, is this like a zip line? Oh, look at all these clowns. Oh, I died. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Oh, no. I died jumping off. Suffering. I didn't touch your helm, but thank you for making me up for a bit of dying, are we? Did I solve the Merlin's trial already? I think I did. Yep, okay, here we go. <laughs> I will make you These guys are good. Oh, good. <laughs> One more of them over here somewhere. Ranrock has fooled you all to your demise. Yeah, to your demise, bitches. Revelio. Alright. Alright, now I shall. Collection updated. Control three. All right. And back on our, back on our journey once again. Revelio. Well, well, I gotta go around here. Whoa, whoa, is there more animals to collect here? Uh, wait a minute. Uh-oh, what do we got here? Well, we're just going to lower ourselves down here. Let's see what kind of party we got. Who am I going toe to toe with? A troll? Sounds like fun. Sneak up on him from behind, hit him with the old. See when those fly back up, I can pick them and throw them at them. Shit, I was doing pretty good to begin with with this troll, but then he started working me pretty good. Damn it, I gotta do better with those with the yellow. 
Oh, that's how it is. Oh, nice, 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 nice. I see what you guys are saying during the. Oh shit! I missed it. Damn it! This guy's working good. Rest easy, my large friend. Sounds like a uh, princess bride. Sleep well. Dream of large women. Okay. If you are a fan of the princess bride, drop a comment. I think it is one of the best movies of all time. I really do. Revelio. What do we have here? This place has seen better days. You're not kidding. Oh, my gear slots are full. I gotta sell excess gear here pretty quick. I'm missing out on a lot of stuff. Rebellion. <laughs> Hanging on the side of the mountain. Yeah, that's still too far to. Once you start flying, everything else is too far to run. Leave your accusations in someone else's direction if you don't mind. Oh, hey, Loyalist Warrior. I am. Oh, you got one in on me, bud. When these guys hit you with that yellow, you gotta get it in, like, right away. Yeah, sometimes when that, yell that yellow alert comes on, it's like you have a little bit of time to... To hit that button with those dwarves, man, they get you with those darts or whatever they're hitting you with, like, fast. Rebellion. They're like, it's not time to do anything with them. Holy cow, look at this. I'm actually at my... Now you should be able to travel to and from Feldcroft in an instant. Oh, yeah. Instead of flying all the way down here, huh? Whew. You made it. Enjoying the view. Keeping an eye on things. Feldcroft isn't what it used to be. No one has felt safe here since Ranrock's loyalists took a peculiar interest in that castle over there. Rookwood Castle. My uncle Solomon is a former aura and refuses to look into it. Even after Anne was cursed oh, by Oh, I know them. just the guy Possibly for the job. With a wand, no less. I heard a goblin refer to wizard kind as wand carriers. A goblin's forbidden from carrying wands. Precisely. That's why I'm on the hunt for answers. If I'm to cure her, I need to understand what happened to her. Anne was always the most mischievous of the three of us. Which is saying something, knowing me and Ominous. I'm hoping a surprise visit from me and a new friend from Hogwarts will help lift her spirits. Bring back the Anne I used to know. Come on, I'll take you to my uncle's. This way. Are we gonna walk? Feldcroft used to be a lot livelier. With Ranrock's lot wandering about all the time, everyone stays out of sight. Right, I think I'll probably do are. this mission. My sister should then, be just uh, inside. We'll call it a day. We're quite a ways in. Get this mission done, though. Aha! Sebastian, where did you... Is that what I think it is? We've been over this, boy. Hey. Shrivel figs cannot reverse a curse. Nothing can. The sooner you accept that reality, the better. 
But we haven't tried everything. There is no cure! When will you accept that? Never! I can never accept it. Now <laughs> look what you've done. I'm sorry. Oh no. This is sad. You know, if I can help, I'm all about it. You guys know me. I'm sorry you had to see that. If you don't mind, I just need a moment alone. Poor Sebastian. Not the visit he'd hoped for. I'm sorry about earlier. Those bouts of pain are difficult to bear. Are you all right, Anne? I, I didn't mean to intrude. You didn't, truly. <sighs> and I'm all right. The pain from this curse comes in bouts. And often suddenly, it's not anyone's fault. It's nice to meet you, by the way. You must be the new fifth year Sebastian told me about. I am. Sebastian and I met during a rather lively duel in defense against the dark arts. Oh, dear Professor Hecate. She's a powerful witch. And she knows how to keep students like my brother and me in line. <sighs> I do miss Hogwarts. But I wouldn't mind being at Feldcroft, really, if it wasn't so dreary wasn't now. Wasn't so dreary. Between the goblins at the castle and my uncle fighting with Sebastian whenever he's home. It's not the cozy retreat it once was. Sebastian mentioned something about your uncle being an ex-Aura, but refusing to go after Ranrock's loyalists. I must say, I wasn't prepared for him to be as angry as he was. Uncle Solomon is frustrated by what happened to me and by Sebastian for thinking he can fix it. They both mean well, I know they do, but my uncle is right. This curse cannot be undone. I can feel it. Nah, we'll Sebastian see about cannot that. take away my pain. Perhaps you can help him to understand that. Sebastian's made up his mind. I'm afraid it's really up to Sebastian, and his mind seems to be made up. I can only hope he realizes the futility of his search for a cure soon. I'm getting tired. I should probably Would rest. you ever quit searching, though? Thank you though? for stopping by. You know what I'm saying? I wish you well. Would you ever stop searching? That boy will fray my last nerve. Excuse me, Mr. Sallow. Oh, yes. Sebastian's friend. I apologize on behalf of my nephew. He doesn't know when to stop. I was about to check on Anne. Did I see you come from the house? How is she? She's all right. She said she was going to rest. Nothing can be done for her. Surely there's something. It could be that you've not yet discovered the cure. Ah, you sound like Sebastian, thinking you know better than the healers at St. Mungo's. Perhaps the healers don't know everything, sir. Sebastian is single-mindedly focused on finding a way to help his sister. If there is a cure, he will find it. Your faith in Sebastian is misplaced. Some sort of dark magic cursed Anne, and the goblins aren't likely to explain themselves anytime soon. We'll get him to soon. talk. We'll Giving get him to talk. Is cruel. The only thing to do now is keep Anne comfortable and stay out of the loyalists' way. No, no, no. Hope could be a good thing. With all due respect, sir, hope could keep Anne's spirits up. You may mean well, but I know what's best for Anne and Sebastian. They are my stubborn brother's children. Especially Sebastian. If you really want to be of help, you'll make sure Sebastian does what he should do, not what he wants to do. He's no idea the harm he could do if he doesn't stop. I'm about to go mess some goblins up. So I, I hope know. you remember what I've said. Good day. I ought to see how Sebastian's faring. I said good day, sir. I said good day, sir. Why will he not listen to me? She's my sister. Let's go fuck up some How goblins. How are you doing, Sebastian? You got a first-hand glance of what I'm dealing with. I apologize for my uncle. He's trying I know to do what's he's right. angry, but he's only trying to do what he thinks is best for Anne. He's always angry. He's been angry since my parents died. After Anne was hurt, he only grew worse. It's as though he blames me somehow, always calling me my father's son, as if that's an insult. I'm the one trying to help her. He's simply given up. 
Both Anne and your uncle seem genuinely convinced that nothing more can be done for her. I refuse to believe that. Anne's pain is more than physical. It has changed her entirely. Yeah, I happen. miss my sister. And I'm going to get her back. All right. Come with me. I need to show you where it happened. Let's go fuck some shit up. Ranrock's loyalists are capable of so much more than people realize. They should not be underestimated. Don't worry. We got this. I got six wiggle well potions. All the debris you'll see is from whatever's going on at that abandoned estate. They've been digging for something. That should be good. Six wiggle well potions. Let's Up do there, this. on that plateau, is where they cursed Anne. This way. All right, let's mess these dudes up. Look at that cape. How badass is that? I will. The customization that they continue to give you in this game is How insane. Much longer are we expected to dig for this rubble. Ramrock knows what he's doing. It's an honor to be a part of it. Good for you. Let's get it. your last mistake what's going on here oh, nice oh, he's coming back this way We are doing work on these dudes. a bit more than I'd bargained for. Yeah, well. Also. Reparo. Wasn't sure if we need that for anything. Maybe I can get some wiggle weld potion around here somewhere. Anywhere, a little wiggle weld potion. Not that I really needed any. That's a pretty epic throwdown, I will say. There was a lot of them, but two of us, it was good work. Those loyalists deserved what they got. Couldn't agree more. This is where it happened. We smelled smoke in the middle of the night. When we looked outside, flames were shooting from the estate. Before my uncle and I could stop her, Anne rushed out, racing towards the fire, worried someone would be hurt. She came face to face with a horde of goblins, frantically trying to stamp out the flames. Suddenly, an icy voice drifted out from somewhere in the smoke. 
Children should be seen and not heard. A blinding blast followed. They didn't even give her a chance to run. Uh, they were trying to hide something. It seems an awfully violent response to a child wandering by. What were they trying to hide? My thoughts exactly. It may be grasping at Billywigs, but I keep thinking that there might be something here that could lead me to whoever cursed Anne. Might be the only way to learn what type of magic harmed her, which could help me find a cure. Perhaps Let's you're right. It. The Loyalists are everywhere, but they do seem to be spending a lot of time here, and it's likely they're hiding something. And at Rookwood Castle. Shall we have a look around? They seem to have set up camp here for a specific reason. They have stations. Rebellion! Uh. I've heard that goblin dig sites like these are popping up everywhere. Hmm. It's a wonder the Ministry isn't doing more. Always armed and ready for a fight, Ranrock's loyalists. Rebellion. What's this? And gear slots are full. I don't need gear. Whose home was this? Bit abandoned long since I've lived here. Rumor was a Hogwarts professor lived here once, centuries ago. But that's all I ever heard. It might be worth taking a closer look at the house itself. Just take your money. It might be worth taking a closer look at the house itself. Uh, uh. Rebellion. Sebastian, over here. Do you think that this was damaged by the fire the night that Anne was cursed? Could be, but it looks to me as though this was intentional. Indeed. Incendio. I thought I could light that pot on fire and maybe find something. The well? This well looks familiar. Sebastian, I've seen this before. This house, the well, the view. What do you mean? When? Give me a moment. I'll explain in a second. I don't know what he's talking about. Sebastian, this house did belong to a Hogwarts professor hundreds of years ago. Who? What do you- I found a pensive that day in the restricted section with a memory that showed this house. There was a little girl and a drought. The keepers have shown me other memories as well. The girl became a Hogwarts professor. Her name was Isadora Morganark. She was one of the keepers. The keepers? Like in Quidditch? And you found a pensive in the library. I'm not following you. I realize it's a lot to take in. I'm not even sure I understand it all yet. And no, not like Quidditch. They call themselves keepers because they're protecting some type of knowledge. It has to do with the vault at Gringotts. Hmm. Let me see if I've got this straight. You have Ranrock and Rookwood after you because of something you found at Gringotts where you ended up via a port key. Mm -hmm. And now you've been witnessing memories left by keepers. Mm -hmm. Oh, and this house belonged to a Hogwarts professor 
who was one of these non-Quidditch keepers hundreds of years ago. If I didn't know you, Precisely. I think you were pulling my leg. It Yo, is all sir. a bit much, isn't it, when you put it like that? Would not do that. The point is, we both have good reason to search this house. You for answers about what happened to Anne, and me for answers about the keepers. Look at this. Someone piled this here for a reason. Is it blocking something? Only one way to find out. Huh, a stairwell. Oh boy. Why bother blocking a stairwell? There might be something here worth a closer look. They've left all of this simply strewn about. It tells me they're after something bigger. I traveled here to learn, but I long to help. My internal struggle is overwhelming. It's as though magic wants to heal, and I'm the one preventing it from doing so. Should I lose hope? Will I forever regret not having done more? I cannot look into their eyes, knowing that I could lessen the burden of heartache. I saw a man, saw the man leaving camp today, the one who so reminded me of my father. Surely it wouldn't hurt to help him. I can further my research, of course. That would be a fortuitous consequence of doing something good with this ability. Interesting. Seems these journal entries are from Isadora's travels. Revelio. It is my second week in the camp. More arrive each day. The muggle doctors and even some of my own healers are doing all they can for them. The grief is palpable. The ones who have survived the plague are forever damaged by their loss. A fever may pass, the skin mend and scar, but the devastating sorrow remains. I saw a man, much like my father, who had lost a child. I couldn't bear it. I longed to give him some shred of relief. I'm beginning to think that others are wrong. I have the power to help these souls. It seems as arbitrary not to help them as it would be to rid them of their torment. A oh, journal geez. entry of Isadora's. I should hold on to this. Oh. Oh. Ah. Oh. Ah. 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 So what else is there? Revelio. going to believe this I can see the undercroft what a daydream because that happens to me too this is getting intense I know it sounds strange but honestly I nothing you say sounds strange to me anymore fair enough I can see the undercroft through this stone wall as though it's a window this has happened before I'm listening I have a rare ability to see whispers of ancient magic. I don't know what I was expecting you to say, but it wasn't that. <laughs> I knew you weren't telling me everything. Ancient magic. What does that even mean? I'm not entirely sure, but the Keepers have said that it's a powerful magic that should only be wielded by a select few. And you can wield it? I don't know, but Fig and I think that Ranrock has somehow found a way to harness that magic's power. Are you telling me that goblins may be wielding some sort of wizard magic? That's they what might. we're trying to find out. What I do know is that my ability allows me to travel through these windows, I see. Wait. We can get straight to the Undercroft from here. <laughs> Ominous will be flawed. We can. But perhaps best not to tell anyone else about this for now. Even, Even Ominous. Ominous. Understood. Well then, invisible secret ancient magic passageway? Here we come. I'm tempted to hold my breath. Whoa. Why would the door lead us here? Sebastian, look. Whoa! 
This is so cool. I, I, it's so crazy it gives you the Y button to skip this. Like, who would ever skip this? I don't know. Why hide a triptych here? Seems as if something's missing. A note. Let's have a look. Anything helpful in the notes? A rune symbol. I've seen similar symbols used by the keepers. I've been thinking. A keeper lived in that house centuries ago, and Ranrock and his lot have been searching there. You said that goblins may be wielding some form of this ancient magic. Do you think Anne was cursed by ancient magic? I can't be sure, of course, but I don't think so. I didn't see any traces of it around your sister. Hmm. Very well. But that doesn't mean it's not ancient magic. There's still so much we don't know about it. True. Perhaps this triptych will lead us to answers. Then we'll have to unravel what this all means. But now I need to see Ominous. Don't worry, I won't tell him anything. Did I mention that, apparently, Salazar Slytherin had a secret scriptorium here, in Hogwarts? You did not. Sounds worth looking into. Any idea where in the castle? No idea. Ominous just learned of it. I'll let you know what I find out. I had no idea our visit to see Anne would unfold into all of this. My head's an utter mess. But I'm glad you told me everything you did. Solid. I'll be in touch. Till then. Okay. What am I supposed to do here now? New quest available. Open quest log. So I'm going to check it out, but this is definitely going to be, be it for today. Uh, Professor Shah's class is at the top of the astronomy tower, upstairs at the entrance to the room. So is this a main? Okay, this is interesting. Main quest. Let's take a look. Assignments. Relationships. And uh, interestingly enough, um, I got which I don't even know which side quests I got out of the way, but there's definitely uh, some done. A friend indeed. You know what? Um, let's do this and then we'll call it a day. One, one side quest and then we'll call it. So um, those, there's a bunch to go. The map with the floating candles that, um, you know, that seems uh, a bit much for right now, but we're gonna do Let this. Let me lay the ruins of Falbottom Castle. After dark, do not tell anyone. Uh-oh, now we got another side quest. Is that another side quest? Let me guess, a new side quest. Whoa, never mind. Is there a bunch of high keep? Meet Natty. Okay, you know what? We're going to do a friend indeed. That's it. And then uh, that's going to be it for today. So we'll do one more side quest. I just got to get out of here. I don't know how to even get out of here. I didn't know I was coming right out in Hogwarts. I still thought I was way over somewhere else. So you know what I am going to do? I think I'm gonna call this, uh, we are pushing four hours. Um, so this has been my longest gameplay yet. Um, got a lot done, this was a lot of fun. Got to do some battling, uh, got to catch some fantastic beasts. That's a lot of fun. Uh, work on my room of requirement, um, kind of organize that. I got the loom. So really a, a, a lot going on in this episode. Got to explore um, kind of that, that dungeon set up and uh, help my friend to find her uncle. So this was a totally action-packed episode. 
I uh, feel like I'm getting better and better at my dueling, although the first time I duel every time feels a little rusty, but this was so much fun once again. Uh, again, my longest Hogwarts Legacy play so far, but as always, thank you so much to everybody for joining. Please keep the comments coming. Um, know that I'm trying to get through every single one that I can, so if you've stuck <laughs> to this video so far to the end or so far, uh, you're still hanging with me, know that if I ask something in the next episode and you comment that I'm, I'm doing, like I said, the absolute best I can to get to all, look, to get to all the comments that I can. But once again, I really appreciate everybody stopping by to check this out. This is a long journey. Um, I'm not sure that any of our gameplay is going to go this long. Uh, if you haven't checked out our other stuff, uh, The Answer did Mortal Kombat. That was only a few episodes long. We did Detroit Become Human. Um, that was only a handful of uh, episodes long as well. Uh, a very interesting end to that. We might do, uh, in fact, there's a very strong likelihood we're going to do another complete playthrough just with uh, a different approach. If you saw um, our play of Detroit Become Human, there was a lot of chaos. We are going to work our way back through the story and uh, with a very peaceful, pacifist, um, non-confrontational um, approach and see what the story uh, plays out like. But in any regard, thank you so much for joining me for Hogwarts Legacy Part 12. I will be back moving forward. I think we're gonna try to get more main quests in now that I know how many there are. Kind of do the side quests as, um, kinda as we go and as they present themselves. But that is gonna be it. So from Apple to Oak and all the guys at Bad Medicine Arcade, thank you so much for joining along and we will see you on the next one.